Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. This time with the official sequel to a comparison review that I did about three or so years ago with the infamous Pasadena Bridge. And as you can see on your screen here right now guys, it was the then upgraded Coke Zero formula compared to the older version on the market. And spoiler alert, given the fact that I really enjoyed that variation of the upgraded formula and actually the can itself too there, which is really cool, we've actually got a brand new variant which is supposedly now more delicious. And guys, I gotta admit, I like this can a lot better. It's like the reverse color scheme with this one here. It's simple, but it easily stands out, and I'm definitely digging that. Zero sugar on this variation, and again, supposedly more delicious. And I can't wait to really see if it is truly more delicious, because that variation that I tried back then was pretty tasty, guys. It really felt like it was a little bit closer to regular Coke. The sweetness was definitely elevated. Still zero sugar and zero calories on this as well. So very curious to see how the new variation is gonna go with this here. So how this is gonna go, just like before, I'm actually gonna pop the top on this. We're gonna pour some into a clear cup. I'm gonna taste it both ways. We'll do the same with the new variation and hopefully, maybe we'll see a difference. I'm very curious to see how sweet that new one's gonna be. Round one, fight! All right, so let's get started on this one. Let's pop the top on this one here. We've got a nice situation of frosty goodness on the top. You can kind of see it right there. Let me go for a little pour action for you. We'll just keep putting it in. It's a tall cup here naturally, the same color. Let's give this a shot. I've actually got some green tea on the side here to clean the palate as well before we get into the next one. Let's give this a shot first with the original upgraded version about three years ago of Coke Zero first. Hang on. Nice. It tastes very much like Coke, very sweet, but a little bit more foamy on that one there. But even still, the color is definitely on point. It looks the part naturally. The flavor, let's go for it in the cup itself. Tasty. I mean, it's the same. Naturally, you may get a different experience drinking directly from the can compared to a cup. Obviously, from the can, I think and also a glass bottle would have been cool as well. Let's go for one more. I like it. I really like it. To me, there's really no difference compared to what I remember from the last time out. And I've had Coke Zero a few times over the years since that time. And the flavor definitely feels a lot sweeter, a lot more like regular Coke. But apparently, I guess some more improvement was needed. But even still, guys, this is still very much like Coke to me. And I like the fact that obviously it's zero sugar, but you're still getting the essence of a strong, strong Coke flavor in this one, especially on the sugary end. And this has no sugar, which is crazy, but cool. So definitely a banging situation either way. And actually, you can probably find this in the stores still. They're probably going to blow out the original stock before they move over completely to the new variation, which is what I saw in my store. They basically had a few of these on top and a whole bunch of the old on the bottom. But as you can see, again, I'm really digging the can. Round two, fight! Now more delicious on this one. Let's pop it and see what's going on with this. And still, all that frosty goodness in there. Let's go for a little pour on this one. And this one definitely feels like it is the same action right there. Here we go. The upgraded formula already three years later for Coke Zero. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, however you want to call it. Let's go for a sip from this and then we'll get into the cup. Here we go. Hang on a second. Another one. Wow. I'm conflicted right now. The sweetness is not apparent up front with this one. It almost feels like a muted type of Coke, believe it or not. I'm not getting a very sweet flavor from this, but the essence of Coke is there, but it doesn't really feel as foamy either. Hang on. I am not getting this as more delicious, to be honest. Wow. Are you serious? You know what, hold on one second. I probably should have done this before I jumped into the new version of the Coke. Let me take a sip of the tea real quick just to fully clean the palate. And I'll go for this again. All right, let's try this again. Another one. It doesn't really make a difference. Wow, that is really interesting so far. Okay, let me go for a little bit of this one here in the cup. So far, I'm a little underwhelmed, guys. I'm a little underwhelmed, hang on. No, man, that's crazy. It's a flatter version of Coke. I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness there, but it's not in your face up front apparent like the other one, which is crazy. So hang on one second. I am not feeling that. Let's go for the original, less upgraded variation, the original one. Hang on. Do it! 
this has more flavor. This has more of the pseudo fake flavor, I would say, of what a regular Coke should taste like. That's really interesting to me right now. Just do it! Yeah, it's got a little bit more of the upfront sweetness that I would get from a regular Coke as well. Especially the Mexican variant, which is my favorite from the glass bottles. Guys, this so far actually I still think is the better formula. So now let me go for the tea again. Okay, all gone. Let's keep going. No, no. <laughs> I think this is a step backwards. I really do. I mean, I love the can, but the flavor is not in your face up front like this is Coke. I don't want to say it tastes like a fake version of Coke, like an off brand, but I got to be real. This is feeling very off brand to me right now. It really is. This is torture. Man, I am super disappointed right now. Okay, one more with the cup itself here, and I think I'm going to call it, but man. Another one. Yeah, no, this is not, this is a no bueno situation for me. It really is a no bueno situation. I like this formula. I think I may have to stock up more on the original upgraded variation from three years ago, which took the place of what I thought was a pretty tasty version of Coke Zero to begin with. And actually migrating it to this one here, I am not feeling this one here, guys. Now more delicious. It's got all the same information on the back. Potassium, 60 milligrams, 2%. It's, it's pretty much the exact same label, but really a very different type of drink. I mean, I love the can. I almost wish, actually, actually I do wish, all the contents that were in this can is actually in the new can. <laughs> That's what they need to do. But I am not feeling this variation of zero sugar Coca-Cola with this one. Um, I'm not feeling this at all. For like the second upgraded version of this since it's come out originally, no bueno. I'm surprised this one made it past any type of testing they did, whatever focus group they did, but this one definitely feels like it is so much sweeter. Finish him. All right, so I'm not gonna waste any more time with this one. Jumping right to the rating, I'm gonna have to give the quote unquote all new version of Coke Zero a very lackluster five out of 10. It barely rates, guys. I gotta be honest with you. This really tastes like an off-brand version of Coke, almost like a Shasta, believe it or not. Nothing against Shasta, naturally, but you know when you're having a regular Coke, a real Coke, compared to something that's not like an off-brand. This does not taste anything like Coke Zero to me, much less regular Coke, compared to, say, that version. I mean, I really like this one. Like I said, I wish the contents of this recipe, this formula, was in the brand new can, because I think the can is cool. I love the update. I love the toughness of it. I love the Coke logo. I love the black font thing and everything there. It's cool. But the flavor is nowhere near like the original formula. Why they decided to switch this, I don't know. Maybe it's a reason to see how this one does. Maybe to go back to the other one so we can do a part three variation review. But even still, guys, no bueno whatsoever. Five is a generous score right now because like I said, it doesn't taste like Coke that I'm used to anyway, but the flavor is okay. It's very mild, but again, a flat version of Coke is what it is. Very little carbonation compared to that. These are both ice cold. And uh, like I said, just a no bueno situation. All right, so with all that said, I'm just gonna simply ask you guys, have you tried this new version of Coke Zero yet? Drop some comments down below. Let me know what your experience has been compared to say the other version of Coke Zero, which has been around for the last few years. And prior to that, a whole bunch of years with the original formula of Coke Zero, which I thought was pretty fine as well. I was pretty addicted to it back then. But guys, as far as I'm concerned, this is a step backwards, at least for the brand, my personal opinion. But like I said, they really should stick with that current version of Coke Zero in the black can just put that into the red can and call it a day. I really hope they do that. I really do. All right, and with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. I'm definitely digging the can, as you've heard me say throughout this review, but it's what's on the inside that counts. And for me, I'm already looking forward to the next variation of Coke Zero. You know what's coming. I have a feeling it may be less than three years from now. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews, but just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.